All right, hey guys, so um, it's been a while since I've seen you, but uh, today is just about doing a little bit of Photoshop. And so what we have here is a document that a friend has asked me to work on. And so what I'm doing right now is I'm just trying to pick the best, you know, work workspace as it's called. See, you can create a new workspace. So I'm just looking for a workspace depend, depending on what I'm doing, right? Um, so I like my layers to be quite visible. Um, so I, I want it to be um, showing what I'm doing. So this is actually this. And this is a PNG image as it's called right here. So he's requested that um, the funded by pop isn't shown and so as you can see I'm not able to read this particular text right and so layers is how Photoshop does it so I'm making a new layer now and I want a solid color I want it to be black because I kind of want to see what's this funded by pop he wants removed so I just need to remove this that's all he's requesting right now it's a PNG and so I only need to do one thing so you select the layer you want to work with um, I have here select, this is a select tool, um, it's a rectangle, so everything I do will be as a rectangle, and see, and for this particular job, that's all I need to do, it's highlighted right now, and I just need to hit the delete key on the, comp on the, 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 the um, keyboard, and it's gone, I select, deselect, and remember this new layer that I created here is only to get a visual of what I'm doing and so I just need to unhide that and the entire thing is gone and that's it I now I can use export and I can go export as or I can click export as a PNG uh, for PNGs I generally use click export as PNG and that's what I'm using at the desktop that's for right now that's what I'm using and I hit save and now it's on the desktop, it's saved. And as you can see, um, let me just open it up. Desktop, find it. Um, there it is, OBS, so I'm at OBS. Uh, and I pick um, photos and that's it. See, it's gone. Now, what I'm seeing is a bit of shadowing from what I deleted. So I didn't I didn't delete enough. So you, you see that little bit of shadow that we're seeing there from the, you know, this little bit of shadow that we're seeing here. That's an effect. That means I went too high um, and I went, I didn't go low enough. So what I need to do is instead of my color being black, I need it for it to be white. And guys, you're seeing this live. So this was a mistake that you know, if I if I had noticed it earlier, I wouldn't have made. So you're seeing live and explaining you what's a mistake. So let's go back to Photoshop. And so my viewer, I'll change it to um, uh, Photoshop. Um, where is it? I'm not really getting that option. Okay, there it is, right? And so to see that error, right, I'll go back. In Photoshop, you can go and edit and you can un undo. undo clear, and, and that's it. In the layers itself, here it has the black, you can double click it and you can pick white. And now you're able to see the area you're working on. And so to zoom in to make sure that, you know, I do what I'm supposed to do, then this is what I want. Maybe white is not as best and a slight gray color will be able to do a better job. And it's the same rectangle tool I'm using. And I don't want to go too high because then I'll get some of this gray. It's extended to about here from what I'm observing. 
So I just want to get it exactly where it is. And then it has to go to about here. And then when I delete that, it won't work, right? Because I didn't I didn't highlight. And you need to make sure that the layer you're deleting your work in is highlighted. So I highlight it. And then when I hit delete on the keyboard, it's gone. Select, deselect. I change this to white. It, it will look like an error. So what I'm doing to zoom in and zoom out is just to hold control and the minus sign on the keyboard up at the top side of the um, zero. And see, it's all clear and perfect. And as is, I'll hit file, export, export as a PNG again. I hit desktop, that's where I want to save it. Hit right, I hit yes. And then I'll reopen that image. I'll go to OBS so that you guys can see it. Uh, there's my photos, and as you can see, it's now gone. So the issue, the little error you saw in the middle where you saw my edit is no longer there. So generally that job is finished and that's it. And that's how you work with um, the images. Remember this was a PNG and I wanted it to be back as a PNG. So that's why I did the quick export as a PNG, right? Otherwise I've noticed that getting PNGs out of Photoshop is a bit tricky and the easiest method is to just use the quick export. And the difference between a PNG and a JPEG is that you won't, this white background I'm highlighting here, you won't see it. So all of this white, you won't see it because if you put it over black, you'll see the black background, right? The only thing that will be visible is the logos with the little circles around them. And that's the advantage with a PNG. If it was a JPEG, then if it was a rectangle, like the outline, you, you would decide on how big it is and the outline would be. And if you pick white, it would be white. If it's black, you'll see black, but it can't be transparent. So you can't put it over something. And the advantage is, um, I'll open up a Word document and I'll show you. Uh, maybe a Word document wouldn't be as uh, ideal, but maybe um, PowerPoint, you know, I think PowerPoint is best. So I'm opening up PowerPoint right now. Let me just change my OBS so you guys can see PowerPoint, All right? And then let's pick one of the templates and then pick create, All right? And then what we want to do is um, here, right here, we'll put in that image that we just made, All right? Insert pictures, and this is a PNG. So we'll go to that image that we just created. And see, um, so you're seeing that, and that's the white. So this is that JPEG feeling, that vibe you're getting, and you don't want that, right? And so I go back to OBS. I hit on my OBS. I hit on my Photoshop. Now we don't want that um, background to be showing, right? So in layers, uncheck that fill. Remember that fill? I left it on. And now when I export, click export, I make sure I want to save it as my desktop. Right, I hit yes. See, you see that checkout box? That means it's transparent. And now when I go to PowerPoint, right? When I go back to PowerPoint, I delete this whole image because I don't want to use that anymore. I use a new one that I just overwrite it. Pictures, desktop. And there it is. And it's transparent, see? You're only seeing logos now. And that's, that's the difference between a JPEG and a... Um, PNG. That's why you want to use a PNG. You don't want to see uh, that white background. You want to see what's whatever you're overlaying over something. See, it's over the text, so you can see, it. right? And that's why you would use that. You know, I think for this case, they're probably doing a poster or something, and they needed this. Um, but that's it for me, guys. I hope you guys learned something through my mistakes. This is totally unedited. Uh, you're seeing all the errors I made. I haven't been doing this for a while, so. A bit rusty but um i think you guys get an idea of what i did there, there is a small trick 
that I would like to show you. And it, it, it depends. It's a case by case scenario. So I'm going to open up back uh, PowerPoint. I mean, sorry, Photoshop. And I want to um, show you how to remove the white um, from some of these logos. Okay. So the logo I want to work with is this little one right here. And that's the one Rio Blanco, whatever. So I'm going to copy that, right? So see, so I'm just trying to line up where I want to start. So I want to start here. Um, unfortunately, I click. So you got to like work with it. And you look at your rulers to make sure that you're in the center. Right? So this is where I want to work on. Um, you can copy. So make sure it's selected. Edit. You can copy it. You can create a new one. So this is a new image. Um, for logos, generally, it's five, a five by five or something like that. You can do this or you can use the pixels itself. You just got to make sure you change it. And a thousand. This is pixels. So that thousand is pretty fair. You can go higher if you want to. Um, it didn't do. I can change my canvas. So one. That's what I want. See? And I know this is a square. Now I'm pasting it in, right? The, the, the image I copied. Then you hit transform. So it's still selected in the top right. right scale. Um, see, in this Photoshop version I'm using, I can just click on it and it automatically scales. I can't like force it to change. Right? And I hit enter when I'm done. Now, remove the background. You don't want that. And you can delete the layer. That's what it says. See? And you want to remove that white. This is the magic wand tool. So you select the white. Right? And with this, you can just hit delete. Select, deselect. And that's what you're left with. Now with the brush, remember that shadow, that fake shadow that I had? You can use a solid color and we want a gray. Because we want to see the shadow and we want to see the white. And you take the eraser, but you got to make sure you select the image and you delete. You make the brush a bigger, you hit Alt and you right click and you can make the brush bigger. If you don't want your edges to be as sharp, you hit up and down and you can feather it. Right? For this case, it doesn't matter. So you want 100% hardness and you, you pick the size. Right? And you hold with your mouse and you just delete with the eraser. On the side. Remember, change workspace if you're not seeing your icons, and then just by doing that, you'll get your icons. And I'm deleting the fake shadow that it had. See? And that fake shadow is now gone 100%. And you're left with this nice image. Because of the pixelation, uh, it was less of less quality than a thousand by a thousand pixels. I scale it up. That's why you're left with this. Right? Now, you can re-add back your shadow by hitting blending mode. And just as an example, I want to do my shadow. There it is, drop shadow. And that's the exact same shadow. You pick the angle, the opacity, the distance. You don't want it as high. The size, you play with these values. You can do normal. It's, it's on a different blending mode. See, this is nice. You're seeing what you need to delete. So there's a bit of a defect here. You can delete that. I hit OK. And I go back to the eraser and I'm just deleting that defect. There's a small little defect and that's why it's showing like that. And now it's perfect again. See? If you notice, there's a small little black stroke. If there's a small little black stroke, you hit on stroke. You hit um, the color. So stroke, you click on it. You change the color to black, right? And then you're making it smaller. Right now it's at outside, you want it inside. And you make it smaller. A small little black stroke. 4% Four, 4 is fine. Now you can go smaller if you want to, but for our purposes, that's fine, right? And there's the shadow and there's the stroke. And it's here by itself. Now, if you wanted the white, it would be a couple steps using the same blending mode. Remember that white circle I deleted? You can use the same stroke, hit the white, you make it bigger. 
right? It's not inside, you want to do it outside. There it is. And that's the white. What you do is you'd first save this image and then reload it and then create the shadow, right? That outer layer with the stroke again, if you wanted to do that. Having multiple images makes you create the same uh, shadow, the same size or the same stroke, the same size. But working with one image and isolate in isolation, then you don't have to worry about uniformity, right? So here, I, I don't want this effect. I want it to be inside and I want it to be um, black and I want it to be smaller. Right? And that's what I'm left with. And I think that would be a great logo. Ideally, I wouldn't keep the shadows. And this would be what it what it actually is. If it if that's in the document for this organization, you gotta like make it look as as original as it does to the actual organization. So this logo would be at that organization. But let's say you wanted a high quality version for whatever, then you know this would be the the steps you'd have to go through to isolate it, right? But otherwise, you would request this logo from that organization. Um, I think for me, that's it, guys. I think that's a long enough lesson. Hopefully, you got something from that. And yeah, enjoy.